Live pictures of Sky Fox. This is a Southwest in fire that firefighters have been working uh, since about noon today. There is tragic news now from that fire. The Harris County Medical Examiner's Office now confirming that three firefighters have died in that fire. We know that another five are injured. We don't have all of their conditions right now, uh, but clearly a, a tragic toll taken from this massive five alarm fire uh, that has just snarled traffic. It's caused uh, all sorts of problems with smoke and obviously the main thing is uh, taking a terrible toll within the Houston Fire Department. Five hurt, three firefighters injured. We understand at least 100 firefighters on the scene there uh, still mopping up this fire. We can see that most of the flames are out, but as if we've watched this throughout the afternoon, uh, we've seen that the, the smoke Blowing across 59 has tied up traffic for miles going both in and out of the city. And we can see that clearly the flames aren't all out there, although it's nothing like it was uh, about four hours ago when this started. We're going to go now to our Randy Wallace by telephone with more information from the hospital. Randy? Yeah, Don, we just heard from Janice Evans, a spokesperson for uh, Memorial Herman with some very tragic news. She came out here and confirmed to reporters that four firefighters were killed battling this blaze this afternoon. At this point, they're not releasing any names. From what we understand from Janice Evans, some of the family members um, have arrived here uh, at the hospital, uh, family members of those four deceased firemen. The mayor is also here, and she is meeting with family members right now. Obviously, this is a very, very sad, tragic day for Houston Fire Department with four fatalities in this fire. Now, there are additional five firemen who still remain. They were injured and remain hospitalized. At this point, uh, the hospital has not given us any indication on their conditions. But again, unfortunately, they're a tragic, tragic day for the Houston Fire, uh, fire Department with four firemen dying battling this this afternoon, Don. Yes, this will go down in history as one of their worst days, and we can see still the scope of this fire. That was a quite a large motel there, the Southwest Inn, along the Southwest Freeway. It was built in 1966, and our understanding is that it offered both long-term stays as well as people who were just staying overnight. Uh, there was a restaurant there as well, and there were early indications that that restaurant may be where this fire started, although we don't know how it started just yet. Uh, Clearly, investigators are on the scene and they've already begun trying to determine how this fire started. There will be uh, homicide investigators as part of that as well because of this tragic loss of life, uh, which we've now learned is worse than we thought it was a few minutes ago. Four Houston firefighters have died, uh, another five hospitalized. We knew that there were four in critical condition earlier this afternoon. Uh, we don't know the conditions of those five who remain in the hospital. We don't know if the ones initially thought critical are the ones who died or if there are still the critical patients. This is obviously still a developing situation and we have been following it throughout this day. Uh, we don't know uh, as well whether or not there were any uh, sprinkler systems in this hotel or motel. Again, it was built in 1966. Uh, we don't know if they ever had a chance to upgrade that. Um, a lot of questions unanswered at this hour. We also know that the heat of the day took quite a toll on the firefighters who were there battling this blaze. We're talking temperatures in the 90s. The heat index for much of this day and perhaps still now at about 100 or over 100 degrees. And obviously that's very difficult uh, firefighting conditions with all of the gear they're in, uh, but we know there were firefighters inside the building that was just enveloped in flames and smoke. We don't know the nature of those fatalities. In other words, we don't know what the exact situation was that led to the firefighters uh, dying, whether or not they were, were trapped, overcome by smoke. Uh, th there's just so much we don't know at this hour, but we are waiting to hear from Mayor Anise Parker. She will be speaking to the media 